Pharmacology SAQ22 LA Toxicity 20 ml of 0.5% bupivacaine is inadvertently administered IV over 15 seconds to a 60-year-old 60kg woman. A. Describe the potential complications and the mechanism of these. CVS toxicity and CNS toxicity may occur. CVS excitation phase presents with hypertension and tachycardia, followed by CVS depression phase with myocardial depression, hypotension, arrhythmias, vasodilation, and asystole. Mechanism of toxicity. Pupivacaine causes arrhythmias and myocardial depression by a blockade of cardiac voltage-gated sodium channels, which reduces the maximum rate of increase of phase zero of cardiac action potential. This causes increased PR interval, QRS interval, increased refractory period, arrhythmias, and heart block. Pupivacaine also blocks cardiac potassium and calcium channels, disrupts intracellular signals originating at metabotropic receptors, which reduces CAMP and contractility, reduces magnesium ATP, which reduces contractility, and bupivacaine also inhibits carnitine acyl carnitine translocase, which transports acyl COA moieties for utilization by myocyte mitochondria. Toxic plasma concentration of bupivacaine is more than 1.5 micrograms per mil, maximum dose 2 mg per kg. Bupivacaine is cardiotoxic at plasma levels of 8 to 10 micrograms per mil. Compared with lidocaine, bupivacaine is more cardiotoxic. Because bupivacaine being more lipid soluble, it dissociates off 10 times lower during diastole from voltage-gated sodium channels compared to lidocaine. This leads to persistent depression of Vmax while lidocaine dissociates off early. At high dose, bupivacaine also blocks pacemaker potential of SA node. Bupivacaine has a CC to CNS ratio of 2 compared with 7.1 for lidocaine. CC-CNS ratio is the dose required to produce arrhythmia versus dose to produce seizure. Lower ratio means lower cardiac safety margin to detect cardiotoxicity based on CNS signs. Bupivacaine has inherently greater affinity for binding to resting and inactivated sodium channels than lidocaine. Pupivacaine exerts a greater degree of direct myocardial depression than less potent agents. Pupivacaine is four times more potent than lidocaine due to higher lipid solubility. Tachycardia may enhance frequency-dependent blockade by bupivacaine, which adds to its cardiac toxicity. Compared with bupivacaine, propivacaine and levobupivacaine are much less cardiotoxic. Propivacaine differs from bupivacaine both in substitution of a propyl for a butyl group in its preparation as a single S enantiomer. Propivacaine is less lipid soluble, hence less cardiotoxic. It dissociates more rapidly from cardiac sodium channels than bupivacaine. Levobupivacaine appears to have decreased affinity for cardiac sodium channels and lower arrhythmogenicity compared with racemic or R bupivacaine, leading to less myocardial depression and less prolonged QTC. CNS toxicity manifests as initial excitation phase with numbness at tongue and circumoral tissue, tinnitus, slurred speech, lightheadedness, tremor, confusion, agitation, and convulsions. Seizure occurs at 4.5 to 5.5 micrograms per mil plasma bupivacaine. The late depressive phase manifests as coma and respiratory depression. Mechanism of toxicity LA penetrates the brain rapidly and has biphasic effect. Initially, inhibitory interneurons are blocked, resulting in excitatory phenomena. Finally, all central neurons are depressed, leading to coma and apnea. Toxicity increases with acidosis. B. Briefly outline the acute management of the potential complications. Based on the AAGBI safety guideline, first is recognition of LAST, which presents with the above-mentioned CVS and CNS symptoms. Immediate management involves stopping the injection of LA, calling for help, maintaining airway, if necessary, intubation, provide 100% oxygen, ensure adequate ventilation, establish IV access, control seizures with benzodiazepines, thiopental or propofol, assess cardiovascular status throughout, consider drawing blood for investigations but do not delay definitive treatment. In circulatory arrest, start CPR under standard protocols, Manage arrhythmias using same protocols. 
while avoiding LAs to treat arrhythmia. Arrhythmias may be very refractory. Consider use of cardiopulmonary bypass. Consider lipid emulsion. Continue CPR with lipid emulsion. Recovery may take more than one hour. Without circulatory arrest, use conventional therapies to treat hypotension, bradycardia, and tachyarrhythmias. Consider lipid emulsion as well. Propofol is not suitable substitute for lipid emulsion. For intralipid 20%, 1.5 ml per kg over 1 minute, and IVI 15 ml per kg per hour. After 5 minutes, give maximum of 2 repeat doses, same dose if severe stability has not been restored, or an adequate circulation deteriorates. Leave 5 minutes between doses, maximum of 3 boluses can be given, including initial bolus, and double the infusion rate to 30 ml per kg per hour after 5 minutes if severe stability has not been restored. Do not exceed maximum cumulative dose of 12 ml per kg. Additional information Determinants of local anesthetic systemic toxicity Factors that increase drug potency Increased peak plasma LA concentration Increased CNS susceptibility, CVS susceptibility and reduced CC-CNS ratio increases the risk of LASD. Factors that increase drug potency includes high lipisolubility, such as bupivacaine being more lipisoluble than lidocaine, high voltage-dependent sodium channel affinity, for example, bupivacaine more than lidocaine, and stereochemistry, for example, R-ropivacaine more cardiotoxic than S-ropivacaine, levobupivacaine less toxic than dextrobupivacaine. Factors that increase peak plasma LA concentration, administration. High dose, high rate of administration, such as bolus compared to infusion, and inadvertent intravascular LA injection. Absorption, reduced tissue binding leads to increased release into circulation. High tissue blood flow rate, for example, anatomical location of injection of LA. In descending order of blood flow rate, tracheal, intercostal, caudal, paracervical, epidural, plexus, and nerve. Global tissue blood flow rate increases in pregnancy and neonates. LA with absence of vessel constriction, such as bupivacaine compared to ropivacaine, leads to increased tissue blood flow rate. Fixed law applies with increased C1, reduced C2, increased area, reduced thickness, and increased diffusion coefficient, leading to increased LA absorption. Distribution Increased unbound drug increases peak plasma concentration such as in low intrinsic protein binding and in conditions with low plasma albumin. Acidosis leads to ion trapping in the intracellular compartment. In the more acidotic fetus compared to the mother, this leads to increased plasma concentration in the fetus. Acidosis also leads to reduced plasma protein binding, increasing free fraction. Reduced volume of distribution increases peak plasma concentration, such as in shock and cachectic patients. Reduced intrinsic metabolism, presence of active metabolites, liver failure, and liver hypoperfusion leads to increased peak plasma concentration of LA. Renal failure leads to accumulation of active metabolites, which increases their peak plasma concentration and toxicity. CNS susceptibility is increased in pregnancy, altered seizure threshold such as in epilepsy, drug interactions such as with tramadol, cocaine, and other class 1 antiarrhythmics, hypercapnia, hypoxia, and acidosis. CVS susceptibility to LA toxicity increases with CVS disease, drug interactions such as with class 1 antiarrhythmics, tachycardia, hypoxia, acidosis, and hyperkalemia. Reduced CC-CNS ratio increases LA toxicity due to increased affinity of the LA to cardiac voltage-gated sodium channels and high lipisolubility. With bupivacaine having a CC-CNS ratio of 3 to 1, some sources quote 2 to 1, ropivacaine 5 to 1, and lidocaine 7 to 1. Other examples of LA toxicity apart from LASD includes transient neurological symptoms such as that caused by intratical lidocaine, neurotoxicity due to intraneural injection, anterior spinal artery syndrome which may be caused by thrombosis, spasm, hypotension, or vasoconstrictor effect, total spinal anesthesia due to high intratical dose, 
hypersensitivity due to PABA metabolite of ester LAs or sodium metabisulfide, methemoglobinemia, such as that caused by O-toluidine, a metabolite of prelocin, cocaine toxicity due to noradrenaline reuptake inhibition, which leads to sympathetic activation, and CNS manifestations such as euphoria, delirium, and seizure. Hepatotoxicity may occur with repeated or continuous use of bupivacaine, respiratory depression such as that caused by lidocaine, and potentiation of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockade. Pharmacology of intralipid. Intralipid 20% is IV lipid emulsion 20%. It is a sterile non-pyrogenic fat emulsion supplied in various sizes such as 100 mL, 250 mL, 500 mL and 1000 mL. It contains 20% soybean oil as solubilizing agent, twice that concentration of propofol liparol, 1.2% purified egg yolk phosphatide as emulsifier, 2.25% glycerin to adjust tonicity, water for injection, and sodium hydroxide to adjust pH. pH of 8, osmolality of 350 milliosmo per kg, which is hypertonic, size of emulsified fat particles is 0.5 micrometer, energy 2 kcal per mil, should not be stored above 25C and do not freeze. Usage As a source of energy and free fatty acid in TPN, as emulsifying agent in propofol and atomidate, as lipid rescue that is not used only in lust but also for other lipid-soluble drugs such as tricyclic antidepressants, calcium channel blockers and beta blockers, and as a source of essential fatty acids in prevention of essential fatty acid deficiency. Mechanism of action of intralipid It produces a large lipid sink that removes toxic drugs from target tissues such as the heart or as a source of energy in shock myocardium. Adverse effects of intralipid includes bacterial contamination, venous irritation, hyperlipidemia, pancreatitis, etc. Contraindications Intralipid should not be given to patients with disturbances of normal fat metabolism. Caution in preterm infants, severe liver damage, pulmonary disease, or when there is danger of fat embolism. Clearance of intralipid. It is metabolized in a manner comparable to clearing chylomicrons. The dose has been discussed in the previous section. Mechanism of action of local anesthetics. Theories includes modulated receptor binding hypothesis, guarded receptor binding hypothesis, and membrane expansion theory. Modulated receptor binding hypothesis suggested that LA binds with different affinities to different conformational states of the ion channel. The drug affinity for depolarized conformations of the channel is higher than that for hyperpolarized conformations. Allosteric coupling causes high affinity of drug binding to depolarized channels to stabilize these conformations relative to the conformation of having low drug affinity. If the high affinity depolarized conformation were the inactivated state, this would further enhance the effect of a blocking drug. Guarded receptor binding hypothesis Channel open conformation is viewed as controlling the flux of drug as they diffuse between drug pools to the binding site. Apparent variation in binding rates results from differences in fraction of accessible sites and not in variable affinity of receptor. Membrane expansion theory postulates that LA absorbed into the cell membrane expands the membrane which narrows the sodium channels. LA action is dependent on blockade of the voltage-dependent sodium channel. LA are less active at voltage-dependent potassium and calcium channels. VGNAC consists of one large alpha subunit with four domains, which forms the middle core of sodium channel. The alpha subunit is bound to two beta subunits via disulfide bonds. LA binds to the inner portion of the alpha subunit. VGNAC has two gates, the activation gate, which is at the extracellular portion. It exhibits voltage-dependent opening. The inactivation gate is at the intracellular portion, which exhibits time-dependent closure. VGNAC has three states. In the resting state, at the resting membrane potential of negative 90 millivolts, 
activation gate is closed, while inactivation gate is open, and sodium is unable to go through VGNAC due to closure of activation gate. Upon reaching threshold potential of negative 70 to negative 50 millivolts, activation gates open, allowing sodium influx. Inactivation gate starts to close and closure is complete after 0.1 milliseconds, which stops further sodium influx. Repolarization then occurs and inactivation gate remains shut until resting membrane potential is restored, reinstating the resting closed state, preparing VGNAC for the next action potential. LA selectively blocks the inner portion of the alpha subunit at the inactivated closed state, preventing restoration back to the resting closed state for the next action potential, hence producing conduction blockade. The uncharged basic form of LA diffuses through the neural cell membrane. It becomes ionized in the intracellular fluid. Ionized form binds selectively to the alpha subunit at the inner portion of VGNAC to the inactivated closed state, while physically blocking outer opening of VGNAC, stabilizing it at this state. This prevents it from changing back to the resting closed state for the next impulse, interrupting action potential formation. Rate of binding of LA to VGNAC is proportional to time in active state, rate of cycling, and nerve activity. Degree of affinity of LA to VGNAC in descending order is inactive state, resting state, and activated state. Effects of LA binding to VGNAC reduced rate of cycling, leading to no action potential and no signal propagation, no change in resting potential. Initial blockade is incomplete and tonic. Repeated blockade leads to complete and phasic block. Differential blockade. This refers to different sensitivity of nerve fibers to LA and manifests as either sensory or motor sparing, different onset, block height, or duration of block. After SAB or epidural, sequence of blockade is in general B fibers followed by C fibers, A delta, a gamma, A beta, and A alpha. Block height. The motor block level is two segments below the pain and touch block level, which is two segments below the sympathectomy and cold temperature block level. Differential blockade was previously attributed to size principle, i.e. smaller axon diameter is more susceptible to LA. However, the size principle is invalid when comparing myelinated versus unmyelinated fibers Unmyelinated fibers are more resistant to LA due to more widespread dispersion of VGNAC. Mechanisms of differential blockade are regarded as complex and multifactorial and depends on LA use, anatomy, axonal diameter, use dependence, and degree of myelination. Mechanism of action of lidocaine for analgesia. Based on the article written by Yang X et al. in 2020, mechanism of action of lidocaine includes blockade of VGNAC, blockade of HCN channels, blockade of voltage-gated potassium and calcium channels, blockade of two pore potassium channels, inhibition of release of glutamate and their effects, inhibition of expression of P2X7 receptor, enhancement of glycine receptor function, prevention of AMN082, which is a glutamate receptor allosteric modulator, inhibition of GABA-A receptor, inhibition of GQ protein, inhibition of response to bradykinin, and possible actions on substance P receptor, neurokinin 1 receptor, and endothelin receptor. Thank you.